Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can set up and test your microphone inside of OBS. So whenever you have OBS open and you have a mic auxiliary device activated for OBS, then you should start seeing this bar in the mixer move, which would indicate that it's receiving audio information. Now in order to get to that step for the first time launching OBS, you may need to choose your microphone device. So a quick way you can do that is to go up to the file menu and choose settings here. And then inside of settings, go down to audio and select your mic auxiliary device here. So you can have it set to default, which will use the computer's default, or you can select a specific device from your list of devices that have microphones. So if you are curious what your default device is set to on Windows, then you can go to your taskbar, right click on your speakers icon, and then choose open sound settings. Inside of the sound settings, you'll be able to see your input device. So here you can see it's set to my USB audio device, which is my headset. And you can also see the microphone information being received here as well. Now, if you've gotten that far, it's a good start. But one thing you may actually want to do is monitor your audio and test it before you start recording. So if you want the audio that is being received by your microphone to play back on your speakers or your headset, what you can do is you can click on the settings icon inside of the mixer for the mic auxiliary device, go to advanced audio properties. So here you can take your devices and you can enable audio monitoring. So from the audio monitoring dropdown, I can go from monitor off to monitor only or monitor and output. So if you do monitor only, you'll only be able to hear it on your desktop audio device and it won't be included in the recording. But if you have monitor and output enabled, then it will both play back to your audio device and also be included in your audio recording. Normally what I would do is I will come in here to test the monitor and I would turn that off entirely before I actually record. So let's go ahead and enable audio monitoring here. If I do monitor and output, what will happen is that it's now playing back to your default audio device on your computer. So this would be also whatever you have set up in file settings. And then if you go to audio, your desktop audio device is what this is going to be playing back to by default. So by making sure that you're receiving the audio levels property and going and double checking with monitoring the output, you can hear how it sounds, which is actually really useful if you want to set up any audio filters. So you may later want to go into the settings icon here and do filters, uh, add in something like noise suppression or the Reaper filter for more audio filtering and that kind of thing. So you can always hear how it sounds before you start recording and that's the general idea. So when you're done, go ahead and turn off your audio monitoring. You can go back to your main window and you should be good for recording on the audio end from that point forward. So that's the gist of how you set up your microphone and test it with audio monitoring inside of OBS to make sure everything sounds good before you actually start recording. I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.